A couple of months ago, I shared with you the Orange Monkey Foldio 3 foldable light tent. Well, today I have the smaller, but still mighty, Foldio 1 and Foldio 2. The same philosophies apply, but these guys are smaller and smaller. Okay, now what are those philosophies that I just mentioned? These are all light and portable. Foldio 1 is 10 inches. Foldio 2 is 15 inches, and Foldio 3 covers 25 inches. They are super easy to go from almost completely flat to fully assembled. It just takes a few minutes to kind of get them set up initially. The instructions are good, so it really did only take a few minutes. And now that I know how it all works, they can be up and running in a flash because they use magnets that just help everything pop into place. You just kind of start unfolding any one of these and the magnets just sort of pair up properly. These all have their own lighting on board and it's all good and bright lighting too. The Foldio 3, it's you know the biggest one, it has the most flexibility. And I have the halo bars, so it has three adjustable lights. And then the Foldio 2 has two strips of LED lights that are individually adjustable. And then the Foldio 1 has two strips of LED lights and you can choose to have one or the both of them you know, on or off, but they don't adjust further than that. And all three of these have different backdrops included because like I said, this like they're all in one. <laughs> the Foldio 3 comes with a black and a white backdrop. The Foldios 1 and 2 both have black, white, gray, and chroma green. So if you put it all together, it delivers and they deliver well. The lighting is good and the Foldios are well shaped. So as long as you're able to point and click, whether that be with your phone or your DSLR, you're gonna get clean, crisp results from anything that you put in these. In fact, there is an app that helps you control exposure and such if you wanna use your phone, but still have like more control over your final product. So which of these three is the best? Like which one's for you? I don't know, it depends. If you want to be able to photograph larger items, the Foldio 3, definitely. But if you have smaller things like coins or small jewelry, Foldio 1 might be the perfect solution for you. Somewhere in between, obviously, the Foldio 2. Um, I needed to take some photos of my Fuji X100F, which I think is in this guy now. Yeah, he's in here. <laughs> and I took a few photos, actually I took a few photos of it in both the Foldio 1 and the Foldio 2, and they were both big enough to use for that purpose. The Foldio 1 though, the photos will definitely need to be cropped a little more tightly. If you are cost conscious, the Foldio 1 has the lowest price and then the cost goes up from there. Um, also, the Foldio 2 and Foldio 3 are both compatible with the Foldio 360 smart turntable. It connects to your phone and it handles the 360 degree photography process for you. It's really neat. I wouldn't have time for like messing around with 360 degree photography if it wasn't really easy. And this app is really easy. It controls the turntable and like it just takes care of the entire process for you. If you are into macro photography or small items or you're just in a hurry and on the go like I often am, any of these three options are definitely fantastic. They are easy to use, easy to set up, they work well, plus they're collapsible and you can tuck them away when you're not using them. That's a really important part for me. I am an Amazon affiliate so you can be sure that I put links to all these guys down in the description below. Um, plus the turntable. However, if I didn't love these things, as with everything I review, you wouldn't even see a video about it. So I've gotten plenty of use out of the Folio 3 and now I have two more options for when I want to photograph smaller items and still get fantastic results. So check out those links if this is something that you think you could use. And if you have questions about these items or aspects of product and small item photography, let me know down in the comments below.